Welcome back. Um, as EC earlier mentioned, Mutiu Shonola, um, a 37-year-old man, is currently in homicide section of the State Criminal Investigation Intelligence Department in Abiyokuta, Ogun State, for allegedly beating up his wife to death. A certain young lady, Joy Oseani, decided to take her own life um, after her boyfriend, A.Z. Augustus, broke up with her in Bielsa State. It was gathered that she vowed that she would not be alive to watch another girl take her man, hence her action. We understand that there would always be toxic friendships, relationships, pain and hurt in relationships. We ask, how best can we deal with such relationships? Innocent Usa is a mind expert and a trainer of NLP. Remember, you can join the conversation. Twitter us at Plus TV Africa, at Ways to Africa One with the hashtag Ways or SMS 081 384663. Thank you so much for joining us, Innocent Usa. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm <laughs> it's so been ages. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You know, first of all, for those that do not know Innocent Usa, you're a fantastic. Um, human being Thank you. that God sent on earth to help people. Um, and you've really, really, really worked a lot of people through the process of healing, you know, and letting go of, you know, pain and hurt when it comes to relationships and especially dealing with toxics, toxins. This word is so, <laughs> you know. So when we saw, when I saw this, um, the story it really broke my heart especially mm. the man that beat up his wife because from the report that we gathered the woman had been in their relationship for a very long time you know the the neighbors said in fact when the father came and the father took um, took her body to the hospital hoping to revive her they said ah that's how the man had been doing it so the question people keep asking is that why did she stay in that relationship knowing that this was the occurrence in that it had been happening we, we why do problem. we always have we have a challenge in our society with patriarchy and when you have patriarchy where a man is king uh yeah. it's a big problem underlining the patriarchy issue you have a situation where the man is financially empowered usually economically empowered you have a situation where uh, it's shameful for a woman to go back home. A woman must be married and attached to someone else, else it's a shameful thing for her to be home. Uh, the parents won't take her back, they'll ask her to go back irrespective of what's happening. They'll just say, hey, not so men, they do, not so they happen for everywhere. No be you, then manage start them to like manage that. them like that. Hmm. You know, so we also live in denial. We're also a society, you know, there's a lot of secrecy, a lot of things we don't talk about in the open. And then, you know, men, the, the patriarchy makes us men have the entitlement mindset. We're kings, we're lords, nothing happens. A friend calls me up and says, oh, have you heard this thing happen to this man? This man is going down. I said, nothing is going to happen so long as we have patriarchy. And um, unfortunately, patriarchy is a system where um, some of the foot soldiers of patriarchy are women. You know. How is that? Yeah. You see a video recently on social media of a woman who um, lost her husband, and then the family comes with a big car to take the, their brother's things. Where you did when would they raise them up? You know? And the people who are in the forefront are, are women. the women tying their wrappers and go like, bring the mattress. It was so shameful. shameful. You know, it's a woman, and the woman forgetting that she's also somewhere you know, with a husband, with a boyfriend, in a relationship, and, and stuff like that. Um, so it's it's a wide problem. The answer is not in a sentence or in a paragraph or in a, in a, in a one-hour conversation. It's 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 a lot of, you know, it's at the heart of where we are as a society and, and all of that. I, how do we? How do we? Uh, as women or as men, because also men can also be in toxic relationships as well. How do we or how can one identify that they are in a toxic relationship? Because some people don't even know. Some people don't even, a toxic don't even relationship know. is not a relationship only with um, romance. They are toxic relationships. It's just how you are really in a work yes, environment. Absolutely. They are toxic relationships. How do we do that? Okay, do so you know you're in a toxic relationship when a range of things are happening. You know, exactly. um, there are a lot of unhealthy red flags that you would see. You see situations where 
people are uh, sometimes it's it's there's a lot of physical violence right. you know but that's the most obvious like the most in the obvious. case yes. that was that was reported but there are times where there's no physical violence there is um, a lot of um, you know but people are going through a lot of abuse Psychological. you know e emotional abuse yeah. um, sometimes it's um, 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 you have situations where people are going through verbal, a lot of verbal abuse, which is tied to emotional as well. People are being called names, people are being, um, you know, called all kinds of things and um, they are being hated on for various reasons. You have situations where people are, uh, are suppressed, their views cannot be heard, you know, they cannot talk. You have a master-servant relationship. Mm -hmm. You have situations where people are not free, you know, to 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 be express to themselves. Be, to express themselves. They are silenced. You have a situation where people cannot. They have a gift, but that gift can be put on the display, can be put on the shelf because, because someone is threatened. Going to interpret it, someone and make yeah. them feel bad about yeah. it. Yeah, it's going to make sense. Absolutely. So they have to hold themselves back. They are not going to be shy. So there's a term that I recently came across. It's yeah. called gaslighting. Yeah. And um, gaslighting is essentially is manipulate. So someone who manipulates by psychological means into doubting their own sanity. So you're with someone who does things that it's not obvious. So you're unable to say this is what this person is doing to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. But then you start to feel they make you feel like the the guilty party. Mm -hmm. And so you start to think that maybe these things are actually happening in your mind. And I think that that's like the worst kind of abuse because this is borderline insanity and like okay am i okay is it just me is it in my mm -hmm. mind mm -hmm. so my question is the perpetrator the person who's doing this gaslighting mm -hmm. are they even aware is it just a, a, a disorder as well oh they are not aware what's going on is people are doing the best they can with what they know right now so n being aware sometimes intellectually is different from really knowing experientially that this is what i'm doing people in pain go on and spread pain without knowing, knowing themselves that they're, they're spreading, spreading pain. pain and so pain has become normal for them as a way of right. dealing with their own past hurts right. their own past pain and all of that so it's difficult to just say to people like we, we're doing on, on tv now and say to them you know you stop that it's, it's just something you're telling them mentally, mentally to do but, but they have gotten soaked up in ingrained. this ideology is ingrained in them they don't even know when they do stuff they don't know when they do stuff so, you know they unconsciously become this person so they need to you know you, you you can't walk out of something you have walked into for after several years you can't walk out of it with a piece of advice you can't walk out of it with a with a well-meaning even prayer you can't just walk out of stuff because because that's what we say you know, prayer yeah, yeah, you, pray about about it. It, you know but unfortunately we're living in a society in denial we don't know that yes. people need to go on a journey of healing mm -hmm. we don't know that people need to first the first place is also to come to the place of um, acceptance. acceptance absolutely you know but there's a lot of denial uh, by the victim, sometimes by the people around the victim. No, my husband is not like that. Oh, my wife is not like oh, that. Oh, my brother is not like that. My, my boss is not like that. Yeah. Um, so what can be done to bring that awareness to the individual who is being suppressed or um, abused? We will first, if, you know, the, the person, sorry, I need to get the question correct. What can be done yeah. to get that person who has been emotionally drained, mm -hmm. emotionally abused, mm -hmm. or the person who is in the toxic relationship who doesn't know that they are in the, are in the to toxic relationship, what can be done to bring that person out of it? The first or place, make that person aware that they are in one. The first the first thing is to 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 accept. You know the story yeah, of the, the, the story okay. the story is, is told of uh, a man sitting in front of his house with a dog and uh, his neighbor passed by, waited at, at him and said, oh, hi, neighbor, how are you doing? And they greeted and he observed that the dog was, you know, uncomfortable lying on something. And he asked the man, why is your dog uncomfortable moaning and groaning? And the owner of the dog looked at the dog and says, oh, the, the dog is lying on a pack full of nails. And the neighbor oh. got curious, why doesn't he get off the pack of nails? To which the owner of the dog answered, oh, I guess the nails don't hurt bad enough. Hmm. Whoa, <laughs> now that's deep. While listening to you guys talk, 
earlier. The thing is, we often say in my profession that the map is not a territory. And the thing is, different people see different things differently. Exactly. Experience things differently, depending on where they are coming from. The map of Lagos is not Lagos. Exactly. It's only a representation of Lagos. The map of pain that you have is even a map of pain that I have, that uh, Ua has, that she has. So, um, you know, we can't... How, how, how do we coexist peacefully, you know, if we all have these different perspectives? I mean, I know well, that... Well, first, we have the law to which we are all answerable to, right. and then uh, for us to be sane, for us to behave like human beings, not animals and stuff, we have the law to yeah. fall back on. And then, of course, we came from somewhere called family and you we hear people say this one will get home training mm -hmm. you know we are expected that we come from a family and those things should be ingrained in us you know unconsciously as we're growing up we went to schools where certain levels of decency was taught and and all kinds of things but f to go back to what we're talking about first is acceptance let right. the person get to the place of um, Janet you, you have a challenge right. uh, and let her agree if the person doesn't agree you who is providing support and friendship must accept them unconditionally. We can't force people to admit that they are Very victims. Mm -hmm. If people are friends, we must give them a shoulder to say, uh, you know what, whether you admit or not, I'm going to be here with you while you through hurt, this. while you go through this, until we provide that safe zone, that safe place where people can know, you know what, with my mess or not, this person is my person, mm -hmm. then one day they could come to that place where they would say, you know, you've been saying this and I think it's true. But we must let people evolve okay, and go so through their journey by themselves. Um, in, innocent, whenever we look, because now, in all honesty, within the past one week or two weeks, you open the pages of the newspapers or you go online, you check, there's been one negative news after the, the other. other. After, from one after the other. Now, the young girl that took her life, mm -hmm. What would get somebody to that stage where you're not thinking? Yesterday, I read a very painful note of a 15-year-old. In fact, I shared it to the group where a 15-year-old girl, <coughs> she wrote a letter, a suicide note. Mm. She wrote a suicide note to her parent, her mom. She wrote that letter to her mom, saying to her mom all the things that had happened. And she was telling her mom she loved her and everything, but she had to do this. She had to take her life, hmm. you know, because at that point, you know, she felt that there was no other option. So what would get somebody to that point? Because I feel like maybe because, is it that we're not talking enough? Is it that we're not, or we don't have a, bet, a, a support structure enough? Because I have been through pain, you know, I've, I've seen pain. And I know that it was because of the support structure I had around me that was able that was able to rise above that pain because it was it was really deep. Mm -hmm. I mean, but for I never for once thought about taking my life. I never for once because I had a very strong support structure around me. I mean, my family they were there for me, my friends were there for me, and they held my hands through the process. But I never for once thought about taking my life. Then I see a fifteen year old, mm -hmm. so it broke my heart, and I and I and I was wondering when I was reading it. it I couldn't for the life of me think, Understand. and this girl is what dead she, now. What she must have the gone through. So why would, yeah. Victims of suicide don't see the act of committing this thing as taking their lives. They, we need to enter into their world. They do not see it as such. People, we, we've gotten this feedback from people who have attempted suicide severally. They want to end in the pain. The pain, a pain, yeah. the pain not mm. that. Yes. And, you know, like I said earlier, people are doing the best they can with what they know, and so they think they're ending a pain. They don't understand the impact of what they are going to leave behind. behind. So there's a short-lived pain they're going through. I'm hoping I can stop this pain. In fact, I have someone saying, uh, my nude photos are going to be released, and my mom, who's a pastor, would find out, so I better kill myself so I can end the pain. Oh when gosh. someone walked with her to go open up with mom, mom was so excited. You know what, let him go to whatever and release the, for the photos. I have my daughter. You know, and and realized, well, I was going matters. to make a mistake. Exactly. You know, but because she was willing to talk with someone exactly. and listen to that this someone. And some people, don't, some people don't seem to have that someone because many of us are very busy. We're busy. We are engrossed in now pursuing stuff, no. and people are crying loudly every day, and saying, "I need help." Listening. They are not saying that in those yeah. terms. Yes, yes. but people I'm are just happy not you brought busy. Yeah. Now, because the underlining factor for this young girl, because I read that story, it broke my heart, mm. was the fact that her parents bought everything. They bought all the gadgets. They bought everything. You know, 
but they did not have that time. Now, here am I thinking, oh, I'm providing everything and all of that. Mm. And yet, they are thinking, you are not there, you're not present, you're not this, you're not that. And we read the newspapers every day. We see, oh, somebody's dying, somebody's this. Now, this young girl, in her head, so if nobody else, what was she thinking? Um, the girl in Bielsa. So if I cannot have you, nobody else will have you. You are dying, somebody else will have him. So she did not think beyond that if she dies, somebody else would definitely have him. Yeah. So what would get you to that point where your mind you becomes so that? small that you're not even thinking you beyond? Value you don't no value, value yourself anymore. Can you please help me break it down? Because I can't it's, understand it's depression. it. We can't understand every mile of mm. depression. And, and it's, it's, a, it's a bit of self-absorption where I'm so focused on self. Yeah. Uh, but it's because I'm really going through a tunnel of Pain. I can't see any light at the other end and I just I don't see the end depression is and we have all gone through this we may not have gone through what is it to know, that clinical but we have all gone through this and there are times when you just, just didn't want to get out of bed and times when you Absolutely. just didn't want to talk to nobody. nobody times when you were not interested in going out for your favorite sport or activity you you this gym thing you didn't care the money kept going it, it was depression but we, we it's we are only beginning to have these conversations now Absolutely. openly uh, Times where one of my staff who works with me said, "Oh, my grandfather, you know, committed suicide." And in the past, you couldn't talk about your grandfather. It's it's labeled, you know, uh, it's an taboo. abomination. Yeah, it's an abomination. Yeah. It's a taboo. You know, you don't talk about things like that. But hey, we're letting people know. Hey, that happened to you. You know, you give them a hug. You're a strong man to even say this. We need to let people come clean. We we live in a very you know airtight culture where we don't talk about secrecy. our families. Secrecy. I know. Too much secrecy. Too much. You know what? You know what we're gonna do. Let's family. go on the break when we come back um, because we have another part to this where we will now start to take practical steps mm -hmm. to start to find how we can now detox our minds you know find help because the whole essence for this conversation we must find help and start to detox our mind from all of this pain and see how we'd find you know help from this situation all right so we'll take a quick break we'll be right back mm -hmm. 